I, I'm kind of half asleep because I was in a deep sleep. I feel like perhaps I was actually with them and then came back into my body and that's why they were so low over the yard. Um, this particular neighborhood, I haven't had this kind of encounter. It used to happen all the time where I lived the other side of town. But, uh, oh gosh, I wish I could go outside and be with them, but I tried the front door and I could hear something walking around outside in front and and then I tried out the back door and the bo the dogs were barking, so. But this is, this is absolutely an outstanding Merkaba ship and Oh, I feel like um, things are accelerating. We are manifesting through thought more quickly. And there are great and glorious things unfolding for us. We've had the equinox already and So I just want you to enjoy the energy of this Merkaba. I will only be in this location for um, less than a week. And then I'll be moving back to the other part of town for a few weeks. And then I will be relocating eight hours away to help a friend that has stage four bone cancer. So I'm so grateful that the Merkaba wanted to come tonight. And I know that each and every one of us are holding a prayer and hope and faith and vision in our hearts that we are ready. We are ready to completely embrace shifting our timeline, our picture of reality. It is time for the galactic communities to be created. It is time that the benevolent races that have been working with us can now completely arrive and walk among us. Disclosure is right at hand. Cigar-shaped crafts are appearing have been appearing for a long time to the Navy since 2004. I myself in, went on a cigar shaped craft in the early 90s and was gone for seven hours. And I met with the Galactic Council and they explained to me that the time would come, which is now upon us, that has arrived, the 26th of September, 2019. I'm sorry you can hear this crazy loud fridge next to me. Oh, I wish that I was outside to film this beautiful Merkaba. But too many. We've got a mama bear and her three cubs that walk around the neighborhood. So I don't think I want to encounter them this morning. 
I send my love to each and every one. I'm, my heart is full. I'm so grateful for the mission that, that I have had since childhood and when I was contacted as a child, age five, by Ezekiel and my father was contacted by Ezekiel in 1947. It has been a long, long journey and I do feel in my heart that the great initiation is unfolding around us and will continue to transpire in many ways, shifting us to 5D reality. Those of us that are ready, but also enhancing the experience of the people that still embrace or want to embrace their 3D reality The most important thing, and, uh, and when I experienced Jesus coming to my bedroom in 2014, he laid his hands on me and he told me that it's time for humanity to wake up and to love and to forgive and to be in joy and service and to love themselves as well as to love others. So this is the message that I leave with you now. Yes, all the mysteries and the beauty of the universe surround us and are merging more with our day-to-day -day reality. I hold each and every soul in my heart and send you my love and my prayers that that you will not be weary that your hearts will be lifted and that you will be ready for the great and glorious things that are unfolding for us now I am grateful to our Creator, to the Archangels, to my brother Jesus Christ, Saint Germain, Babaji Kathumi, El Moria, and our Blessed Mother Mary. And I ask a special prayer this night upon my dear friend. She will be energized as she is going to conquer. I know with all my heart she's going to conquer her cancer. And all of those dear friends that I have that have cancer right now, I ask that this Merkaba assist in blessing them also. The pure in heart and the weary. And bless all of those suffering in the Bahamas. that they will be assisted in rebuilding. Bless everyone who is assisting in these earth catastrophes that occur around the globe. Fear not, great and glorious things are coming. 
I know it as sure as I live and breathe. I've been blessed to know these things my entire life. And I ask for each of us to just love one another, to be strong and to remember who we are. Remember our divine calling and that we chose to be here in this dispensation of time. So I will, the Merkabah's moving further away, but oh my gosh, it was right over my yard, so low. And if it hadn't been for the bears, I would have been outside, so. Till next time, beloveds. Take care, be joyful, all is well. With love, Victoria.